careful. Exactly where they said it is situated. Entire spare of life. Yes. My kingdom is on the verge of collapse. Abioku rages. Abioku deserves to rage, and Jahutara supports no injustice. Idioma offended Abioku, and we will not be used to stop a justified revenge. Go back and face whatever. We broke the law so that whatever is hidden will come to the open. If our action release Abioku revenge, why does she want to wipe us? She does not harm either of you, but she'll definitely take our revenge. You shall not have the Jahuntara spell of light. For the sake of the life of the innocent, let us have despair. Jahuntara is a god of justice. Because evil hates justice, they forbid and stop all mortals from getting the spell. Even over there, the spell is being guided by the spirits and the huge python. Bypass them and the spare is yours. You need the mercy and the grace of the gods to succeed. We advise you to go back. The sword will lead you home if you choose to go. What do you think? We cannot come. See, I'm afraid to conquer. How do we explain that we saw the shrine and yet came back empty handed? There is no reason to that. No reason can justify that. Abioku is on a justified cause. I don't understand. How can such an evil witch be on a justified cause by killing randomly? That's a very big question indeed. I'm so confused. We must proceed.
is fully incubated. And it will hatch soon. We are doomed. If it hatches. The only solution is the spread of life. solution. Let's see if you can make use of it. Kimbase, Kimbase. Hey. A land so blessed by the gods. I think I can only make it slowly. If I don't miss a word anymore, give me your gun and go, okay? That's not possible. Orlando, you need to be brave. I'm not leaving here with her. Oh, I return with some help. I can't wait, okay? Just go. My dear, come. Let's go. We must make it back home together. Such love. 
I have never seen such love before. They are so much in love. This kind of love makes me so uncomfortable. Why do you terrorize your subjects? You! You were supposed to be my subject. But out of greed, out of wickedness, you turned me into your slave for 500 years. I knew that one day you would break the law and I, I, Abyoko, will be free. And that day, it's today. I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. No one can stop me. Why do you kill the innocent if you're so just and justified? You! You! You have no right. You have no right to judge me. You love that right long time ago when the ancestors betrayed me and turned me into place. Abioko, Abioko is angry. I knew that definitely you are superior a child and a child that you will be shall destroy you. That prophecy, that prophecy has come to pass today you today and no one i repeat no one shall stop me i repeat no one shall stop me so in the spirit of unity of wickedness and hatred i release the
How about Isora? She spent her uncle. She's been studying her home. Find the secret of the beast from Hindal, a descendant of Ajok, elder sister of Abiyoko, in Odiso Forest of Magenta Kingdom. I wish you will get the signal of my exit. Monster, are we up against? Please, I mean, this is barbaric. I thought it was a usual local gossip. Please, can you brief me? It is kind of mysterious, officer. The prince broke the law by taking the sacred conjugal uh, staff across the boundaries of Idoma. A big egg, controlled by some goddess, abducted him and the princess. The goddess did some spiritual mating between the prince and the princess. She extracted the fertilized egg from the princess and planted it in the big evil egg. It hatched into an evil monster after 14 days. The prince and the princess, alongside others, went for some spiritual solution to stop the hatching. Four of their men perished. Well-trained soldiers who are Retired General Domingo's personal securities could not scratch the egg. In fact, they lost one of their men. I advise you not to confront it. You will lose your men. Your Highness, why do you call me? You don't expect me to sit down and watch my area turn to a monster zone. Do you? I am not happy you are just alerting me. This would have been nipped in the board. You will not understand, officer. The reason why I called you is because human lives are involved and also for record purposes. I advise you do not confront it. You will lose your men. Your Highness, you undirect the firepower of my men. I wish I would confront the monster. Please call the homicide to clean my house and to take your statistics. It's all right. Is this homicide? Yes, this is SP Ubani. Please come over to King's Palace immediately for clearing. Go. Your Highness, they are on the way. We will do our best to protect the citizens of Uvidoma. Henceforth, my men will be patrolling the city of Idoma day and night. We ask you for uh, a favor, for you to instruct your subject to call the police emergency numbers 
as soon as they cite the beast, somehow the monster must be stopped. Uh, Your Highness, I will take my leave. That will be okay. okay. Thank you, officer. Have a good day. Sorry. Thank you. A land so blessed by the gods, a land filled with emotions, a land protected by the gods, filled with great and strong men. A land so blessed by the gods, filled with anything you want. Rich with culture and strong men, beautiful maidens to comfort. I fear you, Bill. The news of this monster killing every minute. It is not only you, Okwasa. I wish I can locate until this is over. That suggestion is seriously considered. Oh, scoffle! It is rumored that some goddess called Abioku are after the descendants of some evil men that cost her pen long ago. The monster is our weapon. Okuya? Hey, hey. Hey, hey, Okwasa. Is it true the prince and the princess were abducted and made to produce an evil egg? It is no more rumored. Hey. Dead bodies are littered everywhere. Ah, uh, Baba Engia. Mm. People now allow me to consult on my phone. Am I listening to your discussion or am I listening to my phone? Allow me to consult if I visit that or if I visit it. What's the problem? Eh? You're supposed to be civil lecturers. Teaching kindergarten students in the school. And you're here wasting your talent, speaking big, big grammar. What kind of person are you? Tomorrow now you said, who's your best? It's a drunkard. That I waste my talent on bottles of drinks. Why you people are there wasting your talent on small, small, petty, petty village witchcraft and professional poisoning? You can see, you can see. Hey, before you swallow me, these are stupid evil eyes. Your petty, petty evil eyes. I have heard that the monster is looking for small, small people like you. Evil people like you. Get away, are you free? Hey, don't even go there. I wish the monster would just appear and have a simple time between two of us. Let's see who will win. If the monster mistakenly appears here, you will be surprised that you will sit down here with me and die with my beautiful meat and my simple pebble surprise. Fools! Can you stand it? Hey, why shouldn't I? Hey! Can you stand it? You don't have any choice because you're an evil man. You believe in your native stupid poison. Shut up. You drunkard. You can call me a drunkard, but drunkenness is not a crime. Is it a crime? No! Oh, what's that? You are just a small thief and village mother. You go about pursuing small small girls in the village. TV small small fowls. Even you, you are using left hand. Look at you. You have your wound beside you. What's the cause? Because of your stupidness. Let me tell you. I am not afraid of this your stupid juju. I am more than you. Ah! Oh, they just killing the real like me. Yeah. I don't get blessed one card. Oh, they will take you to go to my first medal. Yeah. You have to see. Look at this evil watches. Yeah. Please leave me. Yeah. 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 By the gods, filled with great and strong men. A land so blessed by the gods, filled with anything you want. Rich, rich gold. You're acting as if you don't know she's possessed. It is a lie. I heard that the spirit of those she killed are disturbing her. Her husband married a second wife. Who three times? She killed all as she found. <laughs>
around my waist for protection and then um, the yellow one I should strike it on any surface for disappearance and then the third one the third one hey hey the one in the blue whatever I should blow it into the face of the beast so that he will catch fire and burn to ashes I will not die so cheaply like Chief Sharo. God forbid. Hi, the Hi, since the black box of power has failed us, hey, we have to look for alternative now. Hmm? Hey, 
Isi nwa ago. Adeji aso aja. Nwa isi ada ato namba. Ya! Disabia! Disabia! Police, uh, please, Chief Torino, hurry up and I'll road. My upper city, the beast is right before me. Look, I will be late if your boys come late. Ten seconds is too long, though. Hey. I can't see it yet. I can't see it yet. Visiting violence on innocent people. Can't we talk it out? Let us find a common ground that synergizes our ideas. If you accept the offer, we can even offer you an amnesty. Say your price. Oh, yes, we can pay. Provided you surrender your power. You are here mourning your dead son, Denzel. What do you think that kid is almost at your doorstep? What kind of joke is this, Insube? What kind of joke is this? I have no money for drinks. I would have bought myself out of your trouble. I'm not here for your drinks. The beast has started selecting his victims. And the beast has started selecting his friends. What do you mean? Oh, what I mean? You're asking me what I mean? The beast is looking for bad people. And I know you, Chitazuma, you're not the sense. One day, you know, girl. Are you here to insult me? You don't leave me I am not here to insult anybody. How can I insult a red cat chief like you? I won't do it. Oh, 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 oh. I rest like this. If you get out to me, you can ask your fellow Mboke chiefs. Chief Torino, Yahuda, have you been? Best people can speak. But that they be talking like parrots. I can ask an honor. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying they are dead? Mother, they cold blood. 
The police told me that they won't even do any single thing about it. Oh, 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 okay. To tell you that the beast is selective. It not even have any single policeman. I had to leave there before the beast started accusing me of leaking vital information to you. Please never fell on it. It's not for me to be. She is better in her father's house. Yes. Your life turned upside down as soon as she entered it. This girl made you break the law. And her presence also made Abiyoku to have both of you meted and be a monster that is after us today. If she wasn't anywhere near you, it wouldn't have what? I also learned she delayed your journey from Jahuntara Forest. You would have been here before the egg hatched. How did you know that? I have very reliable maidens with ears to the ground. Izora is a bag of e-lock, son. You made the first mistake with her. Made several other mistakes with her. Do not make another mistake. Let her go. If we survive this, you have many other beautiful damsels to choose from. Unfortunately, none of them is a Zora. I don't want a beautiful damsel. I want a Zora. That is what you do not understand. I chose to break the law, not Izora. Is it her fault that I used her to achieve a purpose? I want to be held responsible for everything. Secondly, fate had brought Izora and I long before you were born. Yes. Is it a coincidence that we met at this time, in this circumstance, to fulfill a conjugal obligation and marital duty that has been prophesied more than 500 years ago. And we've been short-sighted, Father, Mother. If this wind of change is blowing me and Izora together to a definite direction, it then means, logically, that I would not have a successful end without Izara. Wise people know that fate takes over where human efforts stop. I'm useless without Izara. Assuming you are right, son, how are you sure Chief Domingo will let her go? He would be persuaded to buy into my idea that's called diplomacy. I do know what diplomacy is. Don't make me sound like I'm a daft son. Sorry about that. Chief Nazuma. I thought your majesty is aware. I know nothing. Please talk to me. <sighs> the ugly corpses of Chiefs Yehuda and Torino are lying at the police station. It points to one fact, your majesty. The monster is selective and it knows its potential victim. You and I, your majesty, are the only Mbuke members still alive. We must do something. We must do something before all of us perish. Kimbase, Kimbase. So blessed by the gods, a land filled with emotions, a land protected by the gods, filled with great and strong men. I told them to go to Urukongo Kanga for their jams. They refuse. See how they died like chickens. The monster will never dare me. Is this what you want?
Kimbase, Kimbase. Hey, open the gate. I'm sorry, Your Highness. The king will sanction us if you do that. What did you say? I'm sorry, my prince. The king will sanction us if you do that. Let him sanction me when I already Please have your head on a platter. Please, my prince. Sorry, man. I had a kiss, my prince. Please, please, my prince. I had a kiss, my prince. Please. Open again. Oh, my God. Get the car from the garage. Yes, sir. Yeah, I want to see the issue. I want to see the issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, There's a strong message from Kimbaze. What is the message? That anybody absenting himself from today's meeting should consider himself removed from the leadership hierarchy. Who is he? Who is he to issue threat after the seven five dynasties with some black boss of power? Who is he? He is an embattled king, and any drowning man will clutch on even a passing straw. It's okay, we'll go there. We'll go there. After all, uh, I guess that beast is not after us. We'll what? go there. Well, I I'm here to go with you. My car is down. Besides, this kind of journey is better done in a group. Other chiefs are waiting at Ojoba's house. If we hurry, we'll meet them on our way. Mm, it's okay. Can you take um, care okay? Take care of Isora. Hmm? Okay. I will take my life decision on her right. after meeting with the king. Okay, take care of Isora. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. No, it's all you, you know me. It's not a case. Very big case. No, no, no. Nothing can shoot him down. No, it's all right. Sorry. Kimba. 
passé qui me passé I am an embattled king. My kingdom is under the attack of a strange monster linked to the Idoma dynasty. My four confidential chiefs, Torino, Yehuda, Nazuma, and Sharon, are all dead. Several other citizens are victims. In short, the monster is having a field day. All we have is a scanty story with no specific structure. I have instructed my men to go beyond the shores of this kingdom to seek for answers to questions and bring back words. The destination is my Jata kingdom, or this of forest to be precise. A diviner known as Hondura is the man with the secret that can destroy the monster. Zubelu made that known before death. That Hondura is a descendant of goddess Ajoko, who happens to be Abiyoko's elder sister. The two sisters existed 500 years ago. However, for security reasons, I have forbidden the prince from getting involved in any mission forthwith. And I'm sure Chief Domingo must have done the same to his daughter. Alina, what is it? Is Isora here? Why? What kind of stupid question are you asking me? I left my daughter with you and you're here asking me stupid questions. I searched her room. Everywhere she's she's nowhere to be found. I think she's she's missing. Our daughter is missing. Oh. I will never forgive you, Isola. The princess of Kimbasi, father. <laughs> but you are supposed to be locked up in your room. Will you also lock up destiny? I wanted my princess by my side and I got her my own way. Thank your stars, I didn't have to wield the big stick. Because that would have been a public disgrace. The place of the princess is not in contest, your majesty. I am home to stay. Nobody can stop us. We started this together. And we will conclude it together. For how long shall we survive dangerous situation for you to know that we are destined and divine? I shall fetch Hondura. And I will go with him. You will not step out. Let them go. Their destiny seems to be intertwined for this mission. Let them go. A land so blessed by the gods. A land filled with emotions. A land protected by the gods. Filled with great and strong men. A land so blessed by the gods, filled with anything you want. His appearance at the scene of discussion is a sign of his greatness. I am the great Hondura, the only surviving descendant of Ajoku, sister to Abiyoku. Show your face, coward!
the hide and seek is over. I forgive you because you're only a means to an end. Cannot salvage my throne. Let me take the truth to my grave. You will not die. Nothing is going to happen to you. Hmm? If not for your sound mind and great judgments, you should have been gone by now. Your lineage is directly at the root of this problem. And if the will of Abiyoku is to prevail, you and your family will be wiped in a matter of days. That plan is still realistic unless something is done urgently. Go on, wise one. We are eager to hear. How selfish could a man be? To unsettle what God has arranged in His infinite wisdom. 500 years ago, two edgeless celestial sisters lived in the forest of Edoma Kingdom. They held the peace of Kimbasen, and Kimbasens lived a life of love and sharing. Globe of life. Globe of life. Comfort. <sighs> Great masters of the universe. The immaculate positive elements of the globe. We dedicate once again this globe of life to you. It is the secret of our agelessness, our happiness and peace unto the people we sojourn. The source of our immortality, we salute you. If this is taken away from us, we are the same as ordinary, helpless, and confused mortals. With this globe of life, the people of Kimbasi shall forever be protected in your wisdom and power. Peace unto us and unto the peaceful people of Kimbasi.
peace reigned among the king, chiefs, and citizens of Kimbase. The kingship rotated among the six brothers that make up the Kimbase kingdom. The youngest of the brothers, Idoma, was on the throne. Fanachi was the king then. Fanachi had six high chiefs, each from the six dynasties. Eluku was the god of peace and protection for the entire Kimbasa kingdom. The presence of the goddesses of peace, Abiyoku and Ajoku, was a blessing untold. My chiefs, Kimbasi Kingdom has enjoyed the most peaceful era. Every year, we offer good sacrifices to Eluko, our god of peace and protection. This year will not be different. We shall celebrate our peace and thank Eluko for his mercies. <clears throat> and every dynasty must come with two bows. As usual. And every chief will come with a hickoat each. Mm. Every male citizen of the past will come with a healthy tuber of him. And every mother must provide a basket of ingredients as stipulated by our law. Don't forget the levy of five calories by mature citizens of Kimbasa. Mm. Bring in your portion that all may marry and be glad at the peace and the love of the gods. My chiefs, I greet you. Kimbasa is so rich that her kings will never be poor. Very soon, Fenachi will die and the throne will move to Guzom dynasty. Eh? Ah! Ihejiri. Ihejiri has traveled far and wide in search of spiritual powers. This is where mortal dread. Ah! Is there no way I can wrestle power from King Kivinaji without any opposition? Huh? Ah, Ihejiri. There must be a way out. There must be a way out. Ihejiri never fails. Never. Ah, there must be a route to every destination. There must be a route. Ah, no, there must be a way. Ah, no, 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 no. There must be a way. There and there, an evil plot incubates in the heart of a man. There in the forest of Banshi land lay the secret to which he seeks. Can still 
do something for us. If only we can take away the globe of life from them, we will be as ageless as they are. Here it comes, the only mortal with a heart of stone. Ihejiri. Oh, I wonder the type of blood that runs in his veins. Whichever way, he is still our best disciple. <laughs> Where are your fears and manners? When Hejiri walks his terrain, little fries like you, Piva and Scamper, get off my way! I say, get off my way! Great one! What do you seek again in our shrine? We gave you! A success and protection charm. You even demanded for a charm to pull people down so you could always, always be on top. What else do you seek? As long as I have my sacrifices ready, you will not deny me of any request. I wish to take over from the present king of Kimbasi once he dies. No, in fact, I want you to kill him. I want to sleep so I can take over. What you ask is an impossible one. Only the black box of power can give you the kind of opportunity and cast a spell of inaction on the entire kingdom and carry out your plan. So what will it take me to get the box from you? I need power! I need power! I need power! A lot! A lot, my dear! That is the shrine of the Ageless Sisters, Ajioko and Abioko. If you get the revolving globe of life for us, we will give you the black box and tell you the rules. Mm. You and your lineage will rule King Bessie without anyone beating an eyelid as long as you can. This is a big task. But no, it's an impossible one. You will have the box temporarily. Give it to the sisters in a string to the globe of life. Who knows? They might fall for it greedily. Use this power when it's absolutely necessary. It has a hypnotizing effect. You will need more power from us. Bring us the globe of life and the box is yours. Then let me have the box. You think that this box is a piece of a cardboard wood? Mm. Go! We shall send it to you spiritually. But if you try to cheat us, this box 
will be a curse unto you. Go! Kimbase, Kimbase. Hail the angelic queen of peace. I come into your presence. I come in peace. I seek for longevity. But I have power in exchange. I took it away from the wicked witches of the dark. I have had enough of power. All I need is just a little longevity. <laughs> it is so agreed that one cannot be contented with the gift from the boss. If they gave you power, take it and be contented. As for me, I need no other power than the peace and long life that I enjoy. Just a little bit. Okay, I shall return it. It's very simple. Or oh, is my queen getting too selfish? Leave my presence at once before you incur my wrath. Greedy men like you have no place in my heart. I read your mind. You seek power to do evil and long life to perpetuate it. You shall never have the glory. So much love in Kimbase. So much strength in Kimbase. So much happiness. Who is in my company? It is me, Adrian. I come in peace. I'm just from a conquest in the land of the dark. I won and retrieved the black box of power from the two witches from the dark world. I have power. All I need is just long life to enjoy power. If only we can exchange for a while so we can enrich each other. I am indeed impressed by your bravery. The black box of power is an invaluable gift from the gods. I wish I could have it. But you see, there is nothing that is better than life. Peace and joy. I wish to keep my longevity globe of life. I urge you to give me the globe of life. Keep the box so we can exchange it back after a month. What is in the custody of my sister? Steal it. Steal it and I'll give you this. With the powers in this box, your sister will not dare you. We meet here tomorrow. Kimbase. Kimbase. So blessed by the gods, a land filled with emotions, a land protected by the gods, filled with great and strong men. Sorry, you have to travel for a while. I'll bring you back later. A land so blessed by the gods. Let me have the box. Where is it? Here is the globe of life. How dare you give out the globe? You fool! I don't know how you did it. But you must send back that evil box and bring back the globe of life. I forbid you from talking about this. Listen, I want pass. 
and I have it. If you cannot bear with me in this kingdom, get away from this kingdom. You are beautiful. <laughs> So blessed by the gods. Oceans, a land protected by the gods. Filled with great and strong men. Kimbase. 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 Now let me have the box. You gave out the box. To bring it back for you. Great sacrifice will be needed. For every dynasty, a head must be sacrificed to this shrine before the boss can return and be given out again. Meanwhile, the king shall die to show you how serious we are. Go and return with the five sacrifices from the dynasties excluding Idioma with their heads. You buy their loyalty and those of the dynasty they represent for life. Go! Our best friend. Go. We shall reward you richly. <laughs> so much love in Kimbase. So much strength in Kimbase. So much happiness. Gagalogo! Ah! The Roko is down. Wonders will never end. The die is cast. We we'll meet tomorrow and arrange for the king's burial. <laughs> no need asking why you're drunk. You are celebrating the death of the king. <laughs> we killed him according to our plans. Is that not what you wanted? Only your sacrifice stands between you and the throne. <laughs> I shall come with my sacrifice. Trust me. Trust me. My chiefs, is the dynasty to succeed Idoma in contest? No, okay. no, 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 never, never, ever it has become a contest form at all. <clears throat> but many people are juggling and actually robbing for the throne. Don't you? Guzom has so many prominent people. 
But the throne is not necessarily for the worthy. Uh, we have a way of knowing the choice of the gods from the throne. Oh yes. It is not usually contested. You are right, Chifuke. I said you are right. But the problem is that so many people have been paying midnight visits to the chief priests. And I like that. So many gifts have exchanged hands. Even money. Even money. Our gods must share this. Are you sure? Yes, it's the truth. Then that pretends danger. But I have a better suggestion. I am from Idoma dynasty. And no one will accuse me of having interest on the throne. The throne is for Guzong. Listen, I have a suggestion. We have to visit a powerful diviner in another kingdom. That way, he will act impartially. We might even visit two or three diviners. Suggested by different people in collaboration with the results. <laughs> now I know that there are wise men in Kimbasa. And wisdom has found its base in you, Chief Inyeji. I support you in this, your plan. It will eliminate all bias, undue influence, even for favoritism. Let us start going. Imagine the chief priest should eat the lot he has collected. Oh, yes. Kimbazi should go to sleep while he will choose the right man from Guzum dynasty. Oh. Eh? Uh, wait, 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 wait. The beauty of this plan is that all the chiefs from the six dynasties will be present to speak the outcome to their dynasties. Eh? Yes. Are you there? Hey! This is the only way to this is the only way out. Yes, my father. You are right. We will be there. I will be there too. Am I at the right? Am I at the right place? <laughs> I'm here with your sacrifices. They are here. Each of them must come in for examination. walk in one after the other and be examined and seated for the rituals. Let's start with you, Chief Akosa. Stop there. Step into the red cloth. Don't waste my time. Bring in the next. You're next, Chipuke. Yes, you are next. Let's go. Let's go. Bury your feet in the red cloth. Don't waste my time. Box was with Abioku. <laughs> you underrated the wisdom of witches. That 
was a fake box with some little power that makes it real. <laughs> Very soon, she will be left with a piece of empty, powerless box. <laughs> so you, you smartly got the globe of life and retained the box, your box. This is wisdom. Here lies the greatest. The black bus of power. We see it in your possession. Your family shall rule, came basset without opposition. The throne shall remain in idioma forever. Every prince is a potential king and must be initiated by his father. The blood of any member is drained into the bus and he is meant to drink from a mixture to be made from this same box. The prince shall first of all choose a wife within Idoma using the sacred conjugal staff. And if the staff remains in the hand of his princess, it means that the spirit of the black box has accepted his choice. And this must be done before initiating the prince into the sacred order of the black bus confrontanity. And the confrontanity can only accommodate a Hedri lineage. On no account should the black bus or the conjugal staff cross the boundaries of Idioma. If any of these two crosses the boundary, this path collapses and the potency of the black boss neutralized for you it shall return to us and we will owe you no apology other dynasties shall wrench their power from you you will be faced with terrible consequences the angry and disgraced abyoku might go after you and your people you will be left with no protection. Every three years, a secret human sacrifice must be performed by any living king before the shrine to sustain the potency of the black boss. And you must keep this pact active. To be on a safer side, every King Basi chief must come from Idoma and double as chief priest of the black boss confrontality. Take the black boss of power and the conjugal staff and build a strong empire as long as Hey, Jerry. Hey, Jerry, you betrayed me. <clears throat> Idoma. Idoma, you betrayed the one that loves you. No, no. A land so blessed by the gods, filled with anything you want. Rich with culture and strong men. We made a bad choice with the black boss of power. While you and your sister. Enjoy peace and ageless longevity. Today, by our smartness and wisdom, we have taken it away from you and retained our blood was apart. What you have is counted. We are not that wicked. We leave you some powers from the globe of life. 
life you shall get. But your old age will never be heeded. You will remain here as a prisoner in this chamber. As long as the black box is in use. And the globe of life. And the globe of life is with us. <laughs> oh no. Good man. Good. My great grandmother went back to her motto and got married to a hunter. She lived for 150 years. It was painful for a woman who was not supposed to die. She revealed the prophecy for a prince that will seek and destroy the king and the throne. When I want, no one took me serious. The hour is here and now. Special one, how did Abiyoko regain her lost powers? To take advantage of the mistake of the prince. Who told you that the actions of the prince amounted to a mistake? Surely it was a mistake in the eyes of the mortals, but it was ordained by superior forces in the higher spiritual realm. The good element of the universe, the key of all good gifts of nature. By the greed and the selfishness, I fell for this weird trap. Led by the dark elements of the universe. I have suffered. I have suffered this punishment for five years. The only thing left for me is the life that is as useless as a piece of dirty rock. Have mercy. Have mercy on me, all ye positive spirit of the universe. Please come to my rescue, I'm outside. I need your help. Just a few weeks. Just give me the power and time to right my wrong world again. I need your mercy, I need your mercy one more time that I may pay back the weekend in your kind. Where is your mercy, great one? I say, where is your mercy, great one? You own the universe. Please claim your own daughter. Please. You are lucky to have received the mercy of good elements of the universe. Receive the powers to put things right again.
done that to you. And no man can ever take your place in my heart. There's so many ways we must pass. Like I told us earlier, I know you wouldn't have been so heartless to have led me into a dark, hopeless alley. Friends and enemies of Kimbase, war, bitterness, hatred and vengeance will not help. This is time to rebuild broken walls, time to forgive, and time for reconciliation. Above everything, we have to contend with the rage of Abiyoku. She will never forgive Idoma for her betrayal. She lost her beauty, agelessness, and peace because of the greed of one man. She has vowed to wipe out the lineage of Hijri, which includes this royal house. She has wiped off your cousins, my king. I mean, Mortals are pawns or the chessboards of the gods. You place us where you want us to be. We are pencils in the hands of the superior. You write our destiny. Wisdom, they say, lies with the gods. But why do you use the prince to achieve your aim and yet punishes him for that? That is irrational. Oh, you daughter of Goza, stay away from this matter. Stay away from this matter. I will not. Orlando is my love. I can die for him, and you know that. The conjugal staff never rejected me, remember? I brought it back to the palace physically. I lay claim to the palace rightfully. I am the princess of Kimbase. With all due respect, my perfect queen, Kimbashians are no cowards. Tell us what to do and we shall do it at all for the sins against you. Punishing the innocent for the sins of their ancestors is most cowards. I suffered pain. My purse and freedom were taken away from me 500 years ago. For my anger to abate, the black box of past must be found and destroyed. And the globe of life, the sacred globe of life shall be returned to me so that peace shall reign in Kimberley Kingdom. A mortal stole that globe 
and a mortal shall return it. Whoever the return that globe shall be crowned the king or the queen of Kimberley Kingdom. Holy One, the task is tough. Can't you just destroy the monster so we can sleep peacefully? No! No! No way! I made the monster, but I have no pass to destroy the monster. If the monster must be destroyed, the secret lies in the great forest of Johan Tower, where the central spell is surrounded by says My daughter, come. sword of justice and be guided by your strength and faith. With this sword I shall fight for us. Mother, father, I shall be back. Ah.
great python to contend with before you can get the Jahuntara Spear of Light. Let me worry about that. I will distract it while you go for the spare. Careful, there may be no second chance. The central spare is the one that matters. I'm not supposed to be part of this, but a little help can be excused. Use the spare to kill the snake before it destroys you. You will proceed now to the Temple of the Dark Witches in Pashinga Forest. Remember, confiscate the Box of Power and the Staff and retrieve the Globe of Life. That is the only way out. Take this way. You shouldn't have come! <laughs> why shouldn't I come for my daughter? Tell me why shouldn't I come? <laughs> it don't matter. Give me my daughter! I did not give birth to her to fight your battle! I did not! You heard you should face it! to destroy you. The king is no more. I don't want to lose you as well. Please. You are the last of the injury descendants. Do not expose yourself, son. I beg of you. I have lost many gallant soldiers and guards. I have lost a father. And my best friend, many red cap chiefs have gone, and soon, God forbid, I may lose my only love and wife is Zora. Do I hide my head like a terrified ostrich when my whole body is exposed to threat? That will be cowardly, mother. Please, son, you're already wounded. Please, please. But at least I can still walk. Even if I can only crawl, I will still fight. Let it be seen that a warrior gave his all before death caught up with him. Better to die a warrior than to live a terrified and tortured coward. What could be more shameful? What could be more shameful? Than that a prince is hiding while a princess, while a princess faces a tough battle trying to save him. Far be it from me, Orlando. Oh my God! Who is she? She looks like a wounded person. Wait a minute. What could be chasing her? That is not our business. We need blood and heritage. Let us pretend to be helping her. When we have her in here, we will kill her and have a delicious meal. <laughs> Let 
let us enjoy our good meal. Why these stupid Idama people roast in their own stew? <laughs> they can never be saved! <laughs> Matter. You look hurt. Some people want to kill me and I escaped. I'm tired. Please help me. Help me. Don't worry. I'll help you. Don't worry. I'll help you. Don't worry. You'll be fine, okay? You'll be fine. Thank you. This way. This way. Bless you. She is not only brave, she is smart and intelligent. Justice can be found in you. I should be the last to make your death list. I broke the law to your advantage. I challenge Abiyoku to come here now and justify this double standard. I challenge her to rejoice in my death after I made it possible for her to get out of bondage. You. Ah! Ah! She must be running away from some people. Hmm. Wait a minute. Let's keep her alive in case her chasers present themselves as better meals. We can use her as a bet, you know? What are you saying? I thought you wanted to help me. Oh, what a poor, ignorant chap. Your blood will still feel that for you double. And the roaster will be sizzling of your roasting fatty flesh very soon. Box of power. Yeah. Well done, my daughter. Pick up the box and the globe of life and leave before the dead sleeping evil spirits rise in defense of their slain masters. Hold tightly on the Jahuntara spear. Against time, my daughter. Speak to despair and it will take you back home. 
Jahuntara Spear of Light. Take your daughter home. It's over! It's over! Well, it's over. Sure. Everything is over. It's over. Well, I'm hey. I'm well, I'm this is the cause of all the troubles. Man desperate quest for power has its root here. But today it shall all be destroyed. And never again will power drunk people spring up among us. Peace and love shall reign in Kimbase. Here is the source of peace and love. The spirit that guided Kimbase before the evil box upset the equilibrium. I bring back the peace on sabbatical. I regret my foolishness. And I'm glad I paid for it dearly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for, for all the pain that I caused. Kimbis. I mean the entire Kimbis kingdom. I am sorry for the pain that I caused my sister. Hondora. I am sorry. I am deeply sorry. Kimbase, Kimbase, peace and love shall reign again. For the first time in Kimbase, a woman shall be king. I am glad, I am glad that a woman shall be the king of Kimbase. You remember I told you that whoever that gets me the black box and the globe of life shall become the king or the queen. Here is our king. Now I shall return to my to my temple where love and peace shall reign in Kimbasi once. The princess shall be crowned the reigning queen, but there is a problem. What is the problem? The princess is married to a prince, mm. and she cannot be crowned or reign in the father's home, mm -hmm. where the father and the mother are alive. A woman can be anything in her husband's house. That is correct. The princess belongs to Orlando. She shall be reigning from her husband's house, who will support her rule. That's the point. That is it. You see, I never thought about that. Your reasons are pure, so. It's okay. My chiefs, drink, drink up. Let's rush to the palace. Yes. Filled with anything you want. Rich, rich culture and strong men. Beautiful maidens to comfort. By the powers of the gods of Kimbasi. I crown you, Isora de Mango Benziga, the reigning queen of in Baza Kingdom.
Over me, according to the wish of our Creator, a man must rule over his house and household. Perfectly in support. Thank <laughs> God. These are showing all the grades. We will never, never creep into this land again. Oh, we need this love. <laughs> it is the spirit of give and take. Long life and prosperity. Long life. <laughs> <laughs> And you will always be my case. Kimbase. <laughs> <laughs> By the gods, a land filled with emotions, a land protected by the gods, filled with great and strong men. Say 